every single failure, struggle, pain that I ever went through, I am now grateful for those things because those things made me who I am today. And it's, it's the most peace that you can have <laughs> because, because you do love what right. is and, and you love the bad stuff too. Like you can only, you can only get to that place right. having gone through some stuff. Like I wish there was a college course that we could create where we just like destroy someone's life in 90 days right? and have them build it back up because yeah. I'd much rather them go through it at 18 than, than sure. at 38. Sure. Right. But hadn't having gone through some struggles in my life, it gave me the appreciation. Like right now, like I'm, I'm so incredibly grateful for my failed marriage yeah. because it made me the husband and the father I am today. The difficult thing is that it's usually in hindsight that you realize what you were learning through, through the process. And that's why I love so much of the stuff I'm doing on social media is because I want to find people that are going through it now and make sure that they know that, that, Hey, you know, there's, there's some exact purpose and reason the way you have to go through this because of this, 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 and this, and it may be a month from now, it may be 15 years from now, but as cliche as everything happens for a reason, everything happens for a reason. And I think it does take time, intentional time, to sit back and figure out like, huh, what, what, did, what did I learn from this situation? What could I have done better? I think it's very easy in those scenarios to start pointing the fingers at other people. Like she did this, she did that, they did this, they did that. But taking full ownership of the situation, say what could I have done to make that situation better? And now what can I do to move forward and learn something from this. Because I tell everybody, like everything that happens, like it's, it's all your fault. You control everything. And I understand there's things that can happen to you, especially things that can happen to you like as a child and different types of abuse type things. Like, no, that's not your fault, but letting it control you 20 years later, 10 years later, five years later, that you control that. It's usually an interesting conversation amongst men when I talk about like, oh, you, no man, you know, her having an affair, that wasn't your fault. I'm like, well, you know, if I had been the absolute best husband, created the best environment in our home, would that affair have happened? Possibly, but I'm thinking probably not. Like the business failure and the crazy thing that fell out with that, like, was that your fault? Yes, 100, like it, it's all your fault. And, and it's not taking ownership of those things that's keeping you shackled yeah. to them. And so for me, it was that. It was just, it was taking 100% ownership and understanding and the encouragement of that was, if I got myself into that situation, I could get myself out of it. But that was only through hard work yeah. and just going all in that that would happen. Because the only way you can see that relationship as a failure or, or as a loss is if you didn't learn anything from it, that you don't go into the next relationship. And I know for a fact, I am the husband I am today because of my failed marriage. I'm the father I am today because of my failed marriage. And you realize that these things that at the time were gigantic struggles for you now are the reason why you can go do the things that you can do through God. And, you know, I just, I, I want you guys to understand that there is not a circumstance that you could be in. There is not a wrong that you can have done that somehow disqualifies you from God doing that through your life.